welcome and welcome back. Um, for those of you who do not know me, I, my name is Sarah. I'm a first year RN student and I'm about to start tomorrow, actually. I don't have class tomorrow, but tomorrow is the first official day. Um, so I just wanted to take some time and make a video showing you the things that I need for my first real in-person semester of nursing school. Last semester I didn't actually need a lot of my supplies because everything was done online. We were supposed to have a lab last semester, but you know, COVID and all the protocols and everything, they decided to push it to this semester, so I have an extra lab this semester. So this is my first like real in-person semester of nursing school, and I'm so excited to actually leave my room and see everyone else that's in my class because I haven't seen anyone else. I know like maybe four people that are in my class and there's like 70 I think? 70, 80, 60? I don't know. Somewhere around there. Anyways, without further ado, here are the things that I need for this semester. Um, I'll start off with the more boring stuff and then I'll get to the fun actual nursing school stuff. Okay, so first off I have cue cards. I am a big fan of cue cards. Last semester it's how I learned anatomy and physiology. For courses that have a lot of terms, it's just how I learn. I just can't read through a notebook, so instead of writing everything out in a notebook, I write everything on cue cards. I have some neon ones. I have some non-neon ones, and then I have white ones. Uh, the reason that I do different colors is because I like to separate each chapter, like I'll do a chapter in yellow, a chapter in blue, a chapter in pink, so that like it's easier going through and that way I'm not always staring at the exact same colors. So I have a whole bunch of cue cards. Now to go with my cue cards, I use these, they're just like regular printer labels. They're that big and I just take one off and I stick it to the front cue card that says the course name and the chapter number. So I, I bought like a pack of a hundred of these, I think, for probably two dollars. I don't have the actual package anymore because I've been using these for so long. But these are the labels that I use to go with everything else. I also have my pens. I only use black pens unless I'm like writing out a diagram and I need other colors. I bought a whole bunch of different kinds of pens last term because I wanted to like try out like different black pens, different brands. So here clicky pens and then I decided that I really liked this particular kind of pen. It is so smooth. It, I think it was maybe three dollars for the six pens. So it's like 50 cents each. Um, it does have a cap which is unfortunate but they write very smooth. I don't have problems with them. So I decided to pick up two packs of these and then I still have my extra pens from last term. Um, I still use pencils sometimes, so I have erasers and of course I had to pick up highlighters. These are obnoxiously neon, so I don't know how well that's going to go because they're very very bright, but it's okay. I like to color coordinate all of my classes, so I have different colored notebooks and I also have different colored duotangs, I think they're called? Duotangs? Are these called duotangs? Oh, report cover, my bad. Um, I think they're also called duotangs. We're gonna call them duotangs. Um, I have a bunch of these because I like to use these for any handouts we get or any notes that I have to print off, diagrams, stuff like that. And again, like I just have different ones for each classes. And I also love these little tiny sticky notes because I can use them to like tab a page like, oh, like I don't know what this page is talking about, stick one on, that way I know to go back to it. So I just got another pack of those. I drink a lot of water, so I asked my boyfriend to get me this giant 40 ounce water bottle for me for Christmas, and I love it. It's, um, what's the brand? The brand is Summit, there's water in it as you can hear, and it keeps it so cold. I love it because I don't have to like 
leave to fill up my water bottle. That was a huge problem I had last year. Then I'd have to go fill it up and that was, that was a big pain in the butt. And like during classes I would drink all of it. Um, so this way I can have as much water as I need. Ta-da! So I'm very excited. But I know it's just a water bottle, but it's exciting to me. Compression socks. I got a value pack off of Amazon, I believe. Um, we were just, oh God, these are crinkly. I'm going to put these back down. Um, I have two other pairs here, though. Um, we were told we had to have neutral colors, I believe. So I just got a pack with gray, tan, black, brown. Um, oh, and navy. Um, they're nothing interesting. I have compression socks. So I got a good few pairs of those. I know I'm not going to need this many pairs for this one semester, but this way I have extras. And my next thing is my shoes, my beloved shoes. There's actually a really funny story on how I got these. I'm trying for months and months to get these over the summer, and I could not find a pair anywhere. I couldn't find any online that were like, you know, like leather, don't have holes, like they were comfortable. They had like, you know, no crazy colors on them or anything. I know this has blue, but that's fine. Um, and then I went into a local shop and this was the only pair of white shoes that they had and it was in my size, so I happened to get them. I got these at the beginning of the first semester and I was wearing them around my house for the past couple months just to help break them in because anyone who has like bought new shoes and then worn them for a long amount of time you'll know that it's gonna hurt your feet. Um, so I've just been slowly breaking them in a bit at a time. So I will love myself a little bit more in the future. <laughs> so I don't give myself blisters. So these are just my shoes and these will only be worn inside. Um, we aren't allowed to wear them outside at all, I don't believe. Because, well, also you hospital germs. It's kinda gross. Okay. And now to go with my shoes. I don't know if it's just me, but like, you know, if you wear your shoes for a long time, they start to stink really bad. So I got shoe odor destroyer balls that I can put in them. Cause I don't want stinky shoes. For anyone who does not know, I love to sew. And over the summer, I was sewing scrub caps and selling them. I may have gotten a little excited whenever I found a really pretty pattern. Um, so I made myself a lot of them. <laughs> so I went overboard with these, but I, I have enough now to do me for quite a long time. I obviously have my backpack for bringing all of my stuff to and from school. It's just an Adidas... Adidas? Adidas. I don't know how to say it. It's that brand. And it's just pink and it has giant water bottle holders on the sides. And it has this, I put a little book bag thing on so I know it's mine. This pile is my scrubs. I've got two, I've got a set of Dickies scrubs. As you can tell, our colors are white and navy. Um, I've got Dickies scrubs and I've got that's also, this is my Dickies top. And where are they? Is it? Okay. And then I also have Infinity Scrubs, which I absolutely love. They are so comfortable. Let's see. And then I also bought, before I was able to get a second pair of like my backup scrubs, I bought this one second hand. Um, it's just a very plain, I don't even know what brand it is. Vanity Fair. Um, I just bought this one second hand when I was in town over the summer. Just so that I would have an extra one to throw in my bag in case, you know, I got threw up on or uh, spilled on. Something like that. Um, I also have one white top. We are able to wear um, white or navy tops, but I just prefer navy just because it's dark and you won't be able to see stains on it that much. But I have this precious heart soul 
shirt and it has a little tiny bit of pink on it. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a normal white shirt, but I just wanted one white one if I wanted to get like pictures done so it would look a little bit better. So it wouldn't look like a navy blob. And then this is my <laughs> my warm-up jacket. It's Dickies. It's just a normal warm-up jacket. Or lab coat, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's sh like a short one because we aren't allowed to wear the long ones in clinicals. Yeah, those are my scrubs. So I've acquired quite the little pile considering I have yet to even leave my house for nursing school. But at least I know I'll be ready. <laughs> Lapel watches. I have three that are like a rubbery plastic material and then I have one that is metal. Um, it's one thing that I actually get to personalize on my uniform, so I'm excited to have it. <laughs> so that's why I got different colors. Um, this one's polka dots. I've got flowers, and then I've got, I don't know what to call this. It's almost like a paisley design, but it's it's not paisley. Um, and then this one just has like a purple bear on the top. Purple bear. And one of the most exciting things is I got a new laptop tablet. Um, it just, it's like a, it's just a normal laptop, but you can also use it, oh, I accidentally turned it on. Um, you can also use it as a tablet because I like to take notes like that. And so I got this over Christmas. My old one was, um, well, it, it was on its last life. It was at the point where, you know, it would die at 30% and just, it wasn't cutting it anymore. Um, so I got a new one, thank goodness, especially for doing my exams online. It's a saving grace to know that my, my laptop won't turn off on me. My last and probably the absolute most exciting thing is my stethoscope. Um, I have a Litman Classic 3, and it's beautiful. Um, I got the color purple. It's this beautiful, I don't even know what to call it, maybe like a plum color. Whoa, it shows way redder on camera. It's a very dark purple. Um, but yeah, this is my cute little stethoscope. We were recommended the Litman Classic 3. Um, it was a whole thing when I got it. I was very excited. Um, and my books. Most of my books are going to be online, but because school doesn't actually open until tomorrow, I am not able to go in and get my lab manual. So I have to get that. I do have to get a physical copy. I can't get like an online virtual version. So that's very exciting. Hey, sorry to jump in, but I totally forgot. I also have my stethoscope case and my pen light that does not have batteries in it right now. <laughs> Back to the video. That's everything. I'm so excited. So I wanted to show if anyone else is applying to nursing or is in nursing is wondering, hmm, is there anything I'm forgetting? I hope this could have helped you. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It would literally mean the world to me. Um, okay. Thank you. Bye.